The idea with Brain City has always been in the analogies that the structures and the functions of the brain have to the real world around us. My idea was to bring it into this space, into this canyon of Times Square. This is the crossroads of the world, and this project for me really was the crossroads of the brain, bringing these projects together. Uh, all the imagery that you're going to see represents different approaches to mapping the brain, but to understand this thing, the brain, we need to all work together. Noah Hutton came to us and he had this project that he wanted to communicate about the work that he'd been doing over the last five years with these leading neuroscientists. And he wanted to be able to have us take a, a journey through the brain, but then also explain all of the kind of metaphors of mapping and systems and infrastructures that are so rich here in Times Square. And what we did is we actually um, worked together to have one piece that is a midnight moment, another piece that's going to be explored through the construction fencing on the mesh for the next few months, and a website that he actually created that allows one to connect these ideas in the city and the brain together. The animations that we make about the brain, uh, we do that for planetariums and 3D theaters. But actually seeing it in Times Square, what's different is that the displays are everywhere. You know, there's all these different planes of focus. It's pretty powerful. Well, you're seeing 3D renderings of neurons from the retina of a mouse. So the retina is the sheet of neural tissue at the back of your eye. So you're seeing those neurons magnified to a huge scale. Uh, he wanted to interview me as a subject for his documentary, but then he realized that iWire, the project that I founded at MIT and run, could produce images that were beautiful enough to be in his, in his movies, in his videos, so it became a collaboration. There are analogies of structure. The brain pathways are organized like a grid, and these analogies begin to emerge each time we find out something new about the brain. I tried to pair First, a Google Earth zoom in to Times Square that turns into a fly through of the, the brain column. And just to get people thinking about the connections uh, between inside and outside worlds. This is inspired by a long term film I'm making, a documentary about brain research. It's like boyhood for the brain. I'm doing it over 15 years because we're living in kind of a golden age of brain research now. <laughs>